Hey everybody, um, I've now I've kind of been MIA for a while, so I figured I'd make a little update because I haven't put any videos up for a while. Um, I'm done with nursing school and everything finally, so I have time to start making videos again of my vehicles and whatnot. Um, basically what's been going on with the vehicles since I've last posted an update, I don't know how long ago that was, but... I have the the 88 IROC, it's pretty much finished, I just have to do some final touches on it with buffing and putting the decals back on, which I'm going to try to get a, I think I might have posted a video in spring of that, I can't remember, but I'm going to try to get a good video of that once I get a nice day. Um, I haven't, I still don't have it on the insurance yet or anything, so I'm not driving it, but it's gonna. I'm waiting until spring to put it on because I'm not gonna drive it in the winter in this weather like this. So I think I might have posted a video of uh, Grand Cherokee that I bought. I had it for about a year. It was a 2006 Grand Cherokee. Um, I traded. I was supposed to put a video of that, like a walk around video or whatever, of that up, but I never got around to it because I traded, I ended up trading it in on a 2014 Mustang GT with a 5.0, and I've been, I tried to put a video of that on, but it, I couldn't get it to upload because I, I, I was trying to do it from my phone and it just wouldn't upload, so I'm going to try to make a new video of that, by the way I got a new video camera, so I actually can make nice quality videos now, high definition. So I'm going to try to get a video of that too once we get a nice day because the weather's been pretty crappy. Um, it's a, it's, it's bright green, it's 5.0, it has a lot of options in it, it's pretty nice. I was actually going to trade it in today on a BMW 3 Series but I backed out because I'm not quite ready to give it up yet, I just bought it in May. Um, I'll probably wait till... I, I wanted something that was all-wheel drive because of the weather conditions around here. So I'm probably I'm probably gonna wait till the end of next year to trade it in instead of now because I want to have a little bit more fun with it. It's uh it's like 420 horsepower I think and 390 pound-feet of torque. It, it's a six-speed standard. It moves. You guys pretty good. Um. And then I still have the Orvis Edition Grand Cherokee. I think I might have had a video of that up. It's currently still wrecked from when I wrecked it like two years ago or whatever. It was a little bit after I bought it. I hit ice and I wrecked. Um, I was going to start fixing it up, but I'm waiting on somebody to bring me a sandblaster down so I can sandblast underneath and see what I have to work with down there. And there are several other things that are wrong with it. I did a little bit of body work on it. Um, it was last, not this past spring, but the one before, right around when I bought that newer Grand Cherokee. It had some rust on it. I got to replace the rockers, and, and there's there's a decent amount of work that needs done on it. But um, that's probably going to be a slow project. And I still have the Grand Prix. She, she's still going strong. I actually wrecked her a couple... That was probably about a month and a half ago. I was going. It was like the first snow we got, and I was going to work one morning, and it was real icy out. And I was going. I was about to go around a curve. I was going like 50 miles an hour, and the ice just grabbed my car. I couldn't get it to turn, and my brakes weren't doing anything, and I hit a hillside. But it's not real bad. There's a couple holes in my front bumper, but it's all repairable. No major damage on that. So, I'm gonna work on getting. I'm gonna get that fixed too. Um. And there's, there's like scratches all over the car because there was trees, branches hanging down and it uh, got my car pretty nice so I have to fix that up. Um, so I'm going to try to get some videos up here short, hopefully soon if we get any decent weather of the vehicles and the walk around of the Mustang and a couple, some test drives and some 0 to 60s and whatnot. It's, it's a nice car. And then I'll, once I get the Camaro going, I'll have a video of that up and show what all it's gotten done to it. But it's it's about ready to drive. I'm going to get on the insurance in the spring and finally start driving it. I'm pretty excited about that because I've had it for, what, like, probably since I was six. I've had it since I was 16. So, 
it's about time to start driving it. Um, trying to think what else has been new with the vehicles. Not, not too much. Just going through them left and right. It seems like. So, I don't know. I'll put, I'll get an update going on soon and show you guys the Mustang and whatnot. I don't know what else to say right now. So I'm gonna end that here. I'll get some videos up soon.